welcome everyone to this course of programming in python uh before we could begin let me brief you about myself so i am arun and i have over 7 years of experience in the uh, industry i have come from uh, automotive background and over these years i have worked extensively in uh, python using uh, various libraries i have developed uh, desktop based application been involved with web based application as well as developed uh, quite many uh, ai and ml models and with that experience i have come to you all guys towards delivering this course uh, that we are going to cover in the next coming weeks and months to walk you through this course from very scratch up to the advanced level so i'll be your mentor and guide to this course in programming in python so let's begin before we could uh, start learning about this programming in python language uh i think we should know what the basic terminologies are uh which are quite often used uh in this context of programming the python the software development etc <clears throat> and i am pretty sure that you all would have uh, heard of these terminologies what is computer what is machine what is software although it is very easy but uh let's dis discuss it once so that our context is uh, set so a computer or a machine it is anything that you come across on a daily uh, basis uh, the gadgets for instance uh, whether it's a car or whether it's a aeroplane or it's a mobile phone your laptop refrigerator oven these everyday gadgets which you see which are functioning properly which has so many features all of these are machines and they are running because of the software that they have uh, in them it's the software that is controlling them right but how did we develop software we developed software using a programming language so what is a programming language uh, i think we should understand uh, because uh, going forward this course covers uh, the python programming language that is what we are going to learn we are going to learn the grammar and the syntax of programming language so just like we have our uh, human linguistic languages uh, which over the years have evolved into uh, many dialects Uh, whether it is hindi english mandarin spanish tamil telugu malayalam uh, etc same way we have the computer languages c c++ java javascript php python uh, and and lot many but why do we have a programming language at all at the first place and that is because just like if i am able to speak to you all you are you all are able to understand me you all are able to follow me how come it's because you understand english and i understand english and i can speak english so if i communicate to you all in this common language between us like in english you will be able to understand me and follow me in a similar context when i learn a programming language and if i try to communicate to the machine using this programming language the machine will be able to understand me and follow me so a programming language is a language which is used to interact and uh, get the job done through machines but why would you need to uh, get done through the machine now that's because machines are highly efficient they have high power the performance uh, and we need to capitalize on that for example uh, the instagram app or the netflix app or whether it's your aeroplane that is flying on the air or it's the automotive car that is flying uh, that is uh, you know running on the road how are they so controlled optimized and running so perfect functioning so perfect it's because we have communicated to them to work that way uh we have given them instruction so a programming language is nothing but it's the instruction that we are giving to them and when we give an instruction to the machines in lot many number of lines of number in lot many instructions if i'm giving them a millions of instruction or thousands of instruction together bunched together it all make up as a software right so if it's a mobile phone that's a machine the netflix app is a software which comprises of uh, thousands or millions of lines of instruction wrapped together and uh, flash into your mobile phone and that's how your mobile phone or machine is uh you know rendering such a beautiful gui giving you an options to log in there is a button to click pause play etc yes yes so as you can see on my slide hardware and software go together so 
uh, hardware could be any embedded device, could be a mobile phone, laptop, a refrigerator, or anything where you have to get the job done, right? And software is the uh, set of instruction that you're going to give to the machine, which you would have written by yourself. How you would have written? You would have used one or the other programming language to write the instruction. This course is going to focus on the Python programming language to help you interact with the machine. So as I said, programming language, so there are two terms, one is programming and one is programming language. A programming language is just another language, just like humanistic language, like English or Hindi or uh, Tamil, Telugu or Spanish, which we use to communicate to humans. A programming language like C, C++, Java or Python, these are the language to communicate with the machine. And programming is a process. It's a process which involves conceptualizing what you need to get done through the machine. How are you going to get done? In what steps are you going to communicate what? And then you write it. You test what you've written, if it is working. You add features and you deploy it on the target machines, right? So there's a lot of stages that is involved. Or programming is kind of a process that is involved, right? And programming language is the medium or that one particular language which you're using to write your instruction. And when we say that we are going to learn a programming language, it is like we are going to learn that particular language, say Python's grammar, the rules, the regulations, just like I would have learned the grammar of English, right? Okay. Uh, as you all can see on my screen, the computer languages are bifurcated at two main levels. One is low level language and one is high level language. What is low level language and what is high level language? Let's try to understand. Uh, everyone, any machine or any uh, computer for, uh, for that matter, they only understand one language and that is binary. They understand only something in the patterns of 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, etc. Okay? But uh, we cannot uh, communicate in this language. However, what is this 1s and zeros? These are called as binaries. Okay? And what is 0 and what is 1? These at the core or the root level, it just corresponds to the voltage is high or the voltage is low or uh, presence of the flow of current or the absence of flow of current. That is all what it means to machine. However, when such, uh, you know, for example, you can say you turning on a switch, it turns on the bulb. So that means uh, the presence of uh, the flow of current turns on the bulb, gets the job done. And the moment you turn off the switch, it switches off the bulb. However, in, in a machines like mobile phone or the laptop, there are millions and billions of switches combined uh, in, in that integrated uh, system SOC, system on chip. And these switches, when they are being controlled in a, uh, you know, a lot many millions and billions combination, they end up doing certain jobs. They end up uh, rendering a website to you. They end up deploying uh, application on your screen. But how do we give such instruction to them? We cannot talk uh, to the machines in such machine language, right? And that is why we have a high-level languages, which is like C, C++, Java. Now, what are these high-level languages? These high-level languages are English-like languages. For example, if I talk about Python specifically, if I write a command, print, Hello world. I'm pretty sure that intuitively you all would understand what it is trying to do. I am trying to print a message perhaps on the screen, right? Isn't it? It's very uh, clear to you. But how would a machine know that it needs to print something on the screen? For example, if I show you how it works, or maybe I can open command prompt here and I can get into the Python environment I can say print hello world and the moment I hit enter see it's printing hello world how did my machine understand this now what's happening is just like if I have to speak to some Chinese guy I would need a translator uh, in between me and guy, the Chinese guy because I'm speaking in English 
So my English language shall be translated to the Mandarin by a translator. In a similar way, this language, which is a more uh, English-like language, which is which is we call it by the name Python, is a high-level language. Why it is called a high-level language? Because these are the languages which we understand. It makes sense to us what is print means, what is hello, what is world, what is space. Now, what is quotations or, or, or what is uh, exclamatory mark? But for machine, it all, nothing makes sense. It is, for machine, it is just a sequence of characters. They don't, machine don't understand what a print means. And they don't have uh, the understanding or the life or the consciousness like us or the knowledge of English. They would understand only the patterns of ones and zeros. But how do we translate this our high level language instruction to the uh, this language which machines understand so technically there is another software that is going to come into picture or there is another thing that is going to uh, play a role in between and that is called as compiler or you can say interpreter yep so this is the thing that is going to help translate your high level language to the machine language something like this which is a low level language or you can say machine language which is nothing but a binary and this is low level right so basically you see a machine level language is they are low level language which machine closely understands but we don't we cannot deal with them on a daily basis we don't understand them we cannot write our instruction in them so as the software industry grew, there has been a mechanism uh, involved. We learn one of the high-level language. We would learn either C or C++ or Python or anything. Why would we learn a high-level language? Because we can only uh, write our code or write our instruction in those language. And mind you guys, right since 1950s or 1970s, as the technological uh, progress happened, as the computing power increased, as the internet happened, the 5G and the 4G happened and the information became instantly available, there had been the evolution of different languages. From C, we evolved to C++, from we evolved to Java, Python, PHP and a lot many languages have come up to serve these technological advancements and cater to the uh, need of the time, right? So... According to our need, we would learn one of the language which is going to serve our purpose. For example, uh, Python is mainly used towards data science, towards artificial intelligence or machine learning, towards uh, data analytics. All right. However, it's versatile. It can be used in a lot many places. But uh, the whole existence of this, the whole existence and the evolutions of these languages have to happen because they are scattering to certain industries. Right. Uh, as you can see on the screen. So many languages are existing in the world. Algol, Assembly, C++, Perl, C, PHP, Script. And out of these so many languages, we are going to learn Python. We are going to walk through Python in the course uh, forward. It's the Python that is going to we are going to learn, understand and code in the coming weeks and months. And how would that help us? Python would help us interact with our machine. Python would help us get the job done through our machine, whether it's developing a website or data analytics or machine learning or automating any task. And like I said, a Python is something that looks like this. We are going to learn its grammar. We are going to learn its rules and regulations. And we are going to have it convert into machine and uh, run it. Right. So this is the whole uh, uh, the walkthrough of the uh, basics of programming and the basic terminologies and technical jargons associated with uh, Python programming and the programming in itself. And uh, I'll be your mentor and guide again through this whole course for the coming weeks and months and I'll help you towards uh, gaining the proficiency uh, and hold over this language. Thank you.